So you have two equations, one equation on x and one equation on y and you have to find the relationship between x and y. Fairly easy question, no? let us solve it. So uh, we have the first equation in terms of x. So here you see some uh, terms are on the right hand side, I am going to bring it to the left hand side. So how do you rewrite it? Uh, 13 minus 9, correct? That is 4x squared minus 8x plus 3 is equal to 0. So that is your first equation and your second equation is going to be 12 minus 10 that is 2y squared uh, minus 11y plus 12 that is equal to 0. Now here what you do is take the value of a and c multiply these two 4 3s are 12 correct so and you know here it is 8. So you need two numbers whose sum is going to be 8 and their product is going to be 12. So what can be the product of two numbers is 12, sum of the two numbers is 8. So the two numbers has to be 6 and 2, correct? Their product is 12, sum is 8. So what will be the roots? It is going to be 6 by 4 divided by the coefficient of a, correct? 6 by 4 and 2 by 4. Now what do you do? You have to look at the sign of the roots. Here it is minus and plus, so both the roots are going to be positive. So the required roots for this equation are nothing but 3 by 2 and 1 by 2. I hope you know how I am arriving at this. I am sure most of you were there for the previous sessions also. So we have just used the sign method to arrive at the roots here. Now next one, you have to, uh, I mean uh, another equation here. So 12 twos are, you have 24, correct? So you have two numbers whose product is 24 and their sum is 11. So what can be the two numbers? It has to be 8 and Again, uh, the roots is going to be, you have to divide both by the coefficient of x squared that is 8 by 2 and 3 by 2. So again minus plus both the roots are going to be positive. So the roots that you get here is nothing but 4 comma 3 by 2. Now when you compare these roots, you can very clearly see that this value of x, correct? This is x and this is y. The value of x is always less than or equal to y. So the correct answer here is x is less than or equal to y. That is option D.